Or Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I dive into this lesson, I'd like to give our honor and our glory and our praise is due to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, with Kwakadash, Dabai and Sabrina, and the other apostles will teach you her well. Okay. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect the sky that across the four winds of this planet. Okay. All right. Keep them doing. And uh, for the sincere of Wathian that's out there resting, her husband being a pillar of rest, keep doing so. Okay. So, the title of this lesson, I've touched on this many times. It's called. We must continue to fight this battle, okay? What is this battle that we are fighting, okay? This battle that we fighting is basically the spiritual wickedness that we got to go through down here, okay? So without further ado, you know, let's go ahead and get the scripture right here. Uh, it's in Ephesians, I think it's Ephesians chapter 4. Uh, okay, Ephesians 4. Uh, no, it's... Bear with me. Bear with me. Please, uh, Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 11 through 12, okay? And it says, put on, put on the whole armor of Yahweh that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we rest, wrestle not with, against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Kind, man. You know, so, hey, the spiritual, the, 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 um, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but the principalities against the powers of the, of the rulers of darkness right now. Who are the rulers of darkness right now, man? These elites, these Edomites in general, man. Okay? They the rulers of darkness, man. That's why everything here is going so wrong. Because they are uh, enforcing their wickedness upon everyone. You know? And that is causing a lot of destruction, a lot of depression, a lot of chaos to come, come about. But, hey, that's why the Lord said put on the whole armor. So we can stand against the wiles of the devil because, hey, the, the, the scriptures say that the the devil is like a warring lion, you know, trying to get his chance about us, man. You know, trying to get us to go off, man. Okay? We trying to stay strong and trying to continue to fight this battle because when you put on that armor, that armor is to pick, protect you from your enemy for making a wound on you or inflicting damage on you. Okay? And that's to help you in that, that, that armor helps you within your fight. Okay? Uh, verse 13 and it says wherefore take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh that you may be able to withstand the, in the evil day and have done all to stand stand therefore having your loins girt about with, with truth having the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of gospel of peace and above all take the shield of faith wherewith Ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching unto with all per perverseness and supplication for all saints. OK, so um, that right there is beautiful. You know, we going we need all this, man, to be able to stand in the day of darkness, man. Okay, the scriptures say, "Watch you therefore and pray, so you can be able to stand before the stand before the Son of Man." You know, kind. And this right here, you know, to tell us to put on the whole armor, so we can be able to stand in the evil day and take on the shield of uh, faith. Okay, because that's the only thing that's that's the only thing that's gonna keep you draw and drive more in this truth is faith, man. To keep you from what? The fiery darts of the wicked, man. They wickedness, man. To get to you, man. Because once an artist pierce you, hey, that's it, man. Okay? They're darts. they wicked darts, man. We got to continue to stay strong, man. No matter how hard things get, how hard depression things get, man. We must stay strong throughout this whole thing. Because, hey, it ain't over yet, man. It ain't over yet. Okay? You may get seen as over, but hey, man, the Lord ain't making it over for you, man. Because guess what? The Lord's saying something in you that he want to bring out of you in righteousness, man. Okay, there's a reason why the Lord put you through certain tests, man. All right? To try your faith. All right? Um, 
Let's go ahead and get uh Second Timothy chapter two and verse one through four. You know that that scripture beautiful, man. Remember that put on the whole armor of Yahweh, man. Cause that's the only way you'll be protected from the wiles of the devil and the fiery darts of the wicked, man. Okay? Cause when their darts getting shot, man, they gonna try to hit you, man. But if you got that faith, hey man, they ain't gonna touch you, man. Okay. Uh let's go ahead and get first Timothy, second Timothy chapter two. In verse 1 through 4. That's it, 2 Timothy 1, 2, verse 1. Okay. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach, Yavashah, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach also others also. Thou therefore... Endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. No man that ward entangle himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. And if any man also strive for masteries, yet is it he yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully, the husbandman that laboreth must be part first partakers of the fruits. Consider that I what I say. Then the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Remember that Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Oh, <laughs> Spirit wanted me to keep going. But um, <laughs> let's keep on going. And it says, Remember that Yahweh Shah Mashiach, the seed of David, was raised from the dead according to the gospel. Moran, I must, I suffer trouble as an evil doer, and even unto the bonds, but the word of Yahweh is not bound. Bound. Okay. Um, this. Keep on going. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is the eternal glory. It is a faithful saying: For if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. Okay. Um, but the whole point is, man, you know, enduring that hardness. Like a soldier un unto Yahweh Shah Mashiach, because guess what, man? We soldiers, man. Okay, when the soldiers out there, man, they trained to go into them elements, man. They trained to go into that battle, man. Okay, they strength, they train mentally to go and to handle those things, man. Same with us, man. We are getting trained to be able to handle these dark times we're coming into. No matter how bad things get, man, we must keep going, keep going harder. Okay. Yeah. This society that we live in, of course, is going to bring a lot of bad things, man. It ain't bringing nothing but misery, trouble, mischief, depression. No, none of that, man. Okay? We just want to go home, man. Okay? That's why we call 2021 a hasty another year, Yahweh Shah. You know? Because he might, like I listened to Elder Tahar, he said, he might come back 2022. You know, Lord willing, he do. Okay? But the whole point is, man, we must keep on the keep on putting up this good fight, man. Cause we hey continue to fight. We just read the scripture when you put on the whole armor of your howl, you be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, man. Yeah, your armor might you might forget to put on, but hey, you be the next day, you like, uh, oh, I ain't I'm coming on with the whole thing, man. Okay? Carry your shield of faith, man. Okay? Must stay strong, man. That's the only thing you can do, man. You feel like giving up? Hey, you ain't gonna give up, man. If you have faith, okay. Let's go ahead and get First Timothy chapter chapter six through and twelve. All right, and it says, "Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art called, also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses." I give thee charge in the sight of Yahweh, who quickeneth all things before Yahweh, Hamashiach Yahweh Shah, who therefore, well, you know, but the whole point is, you know, um, fight the good fight of faith, man, okay? Because when you're fighting the good fight of faith, man, spiritually, man, hey, man, you get stronger and stronger, man. You know, I, I, that's why, you know, you brothers and sisters, you know, that's, paying, that's listening out to this video, Hey man, if you ever watch Dragon Ball Z, the 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 more damage that Saiyans take, the stronger they get, man. You know, if you ever watch Dragon Ball Z, 
the strong they get stronger every time they get beat up, man. You know, that's how we are, man. Every time we fall back down, we get back up. That's why the scriptures say a just man shall rise up shall uh 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 um, let me go ahead and get it. This is Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 16. For a just man falleth seven times and ariseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Oh, man. The wicked shall fall into mischief. That's all. Hey, that's what they're going to do. Fall back into mischief. But we not going to fall back into that, man. Okay? Got to stay strong, man. That's the best way to do it, man. Stay strong. It's lucky. I'm going to get one more precept and I'm going to sign on off. Okay. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 53. I'm going to start at verse um, 50 and go to 53 or 54. Okay. Oh, nope. Uh... I'm going to go to 58, okay? And it says, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, neither do it corruption inherit corruption. Behold, I shew you a mystery, shew you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised or incorruptible, and we shall be changed. But this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall he shall then shall be brought to pass the saying, saying that is written, death is swallowed up it up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of sin is in the strength. Strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to Yahweh, which giveth us the victory through our Lord, Yahusha Mashiach. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye stand fast, unmovable, always abound in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the, in the Lord. Come, man. You know, so, hey, man, you know, this mortal must put on incorrupt this this in, this corruptible must put on incorruption. That is talking about us getting immortality for putting up this good fight, man. Okay, we must continue and endure these things, man. Because without endurance, hey, if you out there on the track, you know, you pacing at your pace. You know, you ain't trying to overdo yourself. You trying to stay at your pace. But guess what? You stay at your pace. Hey, you working? Hey, you working harder than you think when you staying at your pace? Cause guess what? It's repetitious movement. You know, it's repetitious movement. You doing the same movement over and over and over again. Okay, you building up something. What is you building up here spiritually? Your faith, your faith and strength. Okay, all right. You you continue to fight the elements that your body put it, your mind put in your mind, your wicked thoughts, man. You must give up. You tired? What is tired, man? Okay, that's that's your flesh telling you that, but your spirit is is indeed willing to, willingly to keep going, man. Okay, because trust me, if we was just the spirit right now, hey man, we'd be all better, man. Okay, we'd be continue going on longer and longer, man. Because there'd be days where you feel low, but hey, you find that inner strength somewhere, you'd be like, oh no, man, I ain't finna settle for this shit, man. You know. Sell for the shit as in you ain't finna stay low, man. Your spirit activates then, man. Okay? That's why it says, uh, For this mortal must put on immortality, so then this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. Yeah, man. When we get in the kingdom, man, hey, death is gonna be swallowed up. It ain't going to be no more death, okay? It's going to be nothing but rejoice, gladness, tears of joy, not tears of sorrow, okay? 
The Lord said he gonna wipe away all tears, man. Depression. All that's gonna be gone, man. Okay? So with that, man, Lord will in this lesson's that of fine. Like to give our honor and our glory and our praise is due to Yahweh by Shem, Yahusha, by Shem Kadash. Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahusha, 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 Brock the Yahweh, 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 I'd like to give all honor and glory once again to the Most High God, Yahweh Hashem Yahshah. You know, double honor to Great Minister Elder Apostle, Great Minister Elder Apostle with teaching the will. Till next time, to the next video. Shalom. Kramashwala, Abba, the ball, DTA.